What's up, everyone? This is the podcast, I Am A Human, and today we're going to talk about the importance of being in harmony with nature. The importance is that we make our well-being our foundation. Being outside, being in the sun, walking around, and getting that vitamin D, and vitamin D is such a concept, but we want to look at what is natural. It is natural for us to get sunshine. It's natural for us to walk around on the grass, feel the grounded floor, even on the streets, even the rocks, the stones. And that's why I always walk barefoot at the park every day. Every day I walk for hours barefoot. And uh, I do my coaching calls outside barefoot because I construct my day around my well-being. And that is what will give you the foundation to do all the other things. If you make well-being and being outside just something that you build around your workday or your success, your success will come. Your well-being has to be the foundation. And that includes the food that you eat, right? The podcast name is The Importance of Being in Harmony with Nature. And the food that you eat, is it natural or is it processed? I can give you guys something from my experience. I don't want you guys to take that on if it doesn't work for your own body. Because what I always say is you have to find out what works for your body, okay? You have to find out what works for your body and what works for you. Now, for me, what I realized is that when I eat bread, it's actually not about the gluten. Bread or chips or Doritos, dry stuff, right? What happens, what I feel is that it dries out my body. And I realized that I think a few years ago, I always used to get with my food, not always, not every day, but like a bag of, it wasn't like regular chips. It was like the healthy kind, right? The healthy kind. Mexican, like some chips made out of whatever, right? But they were still dry. They were, even though, even when they were made out of cauliflower or other things. I always feel after I eat how I feel. And I realized that with that, it always dried on my body. I had to drink so much more water. And the next day, I could feel from that bag of chips that I felt different. If you really have that sensitivity for your body, you can feel it. So I eat food based on how I feel after, not how the taste is during the food. That doesn't make sense because the taste doesn't help you after. And you are living for a way longer time afterwards than the little bit of taste that you got during the food. That doesn't mean you can't get amazing taste even with food that's good for you. You can. I mean, I eat watermelon. I eat um, peaches. I eat strawberries. I eat blackberries. I eat blueberries. And all of those are um, very nutritious and very delicious. So, and food is just one of the examples, right? We talked about being outside. My coaching calls, you can talk to any of my clients. I've been doing coaching calls for three years now. And I have a lot of success with my coaching. And I do them outside. And guess what I'm doing them too? With my guns out, just naked, upper body naked, of course. Upper body naked and out in the sun. And my clients don't care. They don't care. They are, maybe the first time they see me, they're like, what's going on? And I'm so focused on giving them the most value. They don't care. They don't care. And if if they would care, that's fine to me. I'm willing to lose people based for my well-being. But my clients from all my videos on TikTok and YouTube, they already know. Like, you see me even when I'm on my TikTok videos. Most of the time, I don't have a shirt on. Why is that? Why is that? Because I don't listen to society's game. I create my own game. I walk around with no shirt because I want to. And I'm willing to lose people. And that shows the people that have values. It also shows the people that I don't try to make their feelings feel better. Which is an important also for trust. Because they also know when I teach them, when I coach them, that... I will give them the truth. I will give them the things they need to improve. There's a lot of therapists out there who will say things to make the client's feelings feel better because it's going to create an addiction because the client comes with uncomfortable feelings to the sessions. And if you validate their feelings, make them feel better, right? That's an addiction cycle that comes. The brain brings up uncomfortable feelings. You, through going to therapy, make them feel better. And it's the same as with drugs. It, it creates a cycle. But if we teach our clients to accept all the emotions, accept all the thoughts, and do the things you value mindfully, 
over time, they're happier, way happier. But if you look for the short relief, you will always be more unhealthy, mentally unhealthy. But back to creating an atmosphere. We want to create an atmosphere and we don't want to ask for perfection. There's people out there who are like, I need to make the perfect project today. I need to make the perfect podcast. I need to make the perfect video. Just create the atmosphere and go in the right direction and you will over time, build more skills. People are too impatient. But if you set the right atmosphere and if you don't make it about, oh, am I going to get views now? Am I going to get views now? You want to set the right atmosphere for yourself. And the foundation of any atmosphere is your well-being because you only have one body. So it's going to be about you being outside in nature. You being outside. And you don't, I mean, I get it. You have a job, right? I'm, a, I'm my own boss. I can do whatever I want to. At the same time, you can go outside in the sun, even in your break. Go somewhere. Take your shirt off. Take your shirt off. If you're a woman, take your whatever, like, you find places. You are very creative. You find places to put your skin into the sun. But go in the sun. Don't just stay inside. All those electronics. And then barefoot is so important. Barefoot is so important. And I'm not even like going into like, oh, it's literally a magnetic field in the earth that connects to your body. So there is some charging device for it. And it's so important even for our muscles. I, I, I was just recently getting into, um, there are these tribes in Africa who are really good at jumping high. And they say it's because they've always been barefoot. And... Um, the Europeans um, started getting shoes way earlier, right? But when you have walk around barefoot, you strengthen your muscles in your feet and you strengthen your back with that too. Every muscle is connected. Your whole body is connected with each other. So it's so important for you to go outside and strengthen your feet and get that magnetic charge from your body. You want to be, be charged up, you know what I mean? Don't only charge your phone, charge yourself. Um, so yeah, it's, I think it's very simplistic, but it's about you doing it and changing those habits is going to be uncomfortable at first, but on some point it's going to get normal. I'm so used to being outside without a shirt and I don't care what society says. It doesn't matter to me. I drive without a shirt. If you ever see me drive every day, I go out my house. I go out the house without a shirt. I have a shirt in my backpack in case I have to go to Whole Foods and get some food, but I go out the house with my water, with some protein shakes, right? Because I set the atmosphere. I know, okay, I don't want to waste that time in the beginning of the day to eat, right? So I'm, I might have some fruit, I might have some protein shakes, but I'm not going to have a meal. I'm not going to make myself a meal. Um, I, as an entrepreneur, don't even like, I'd rather make more money and go to a more expensive, healthy place and let someone else make myself the food faster. That's what I like to do uh, because I am so busy. I have podcasts, I have uh, coaching calls, I have seminars, and um, for my um, for my life, that's the most important thing to have that time because that time is going to give me the ability to do more of the things that I want to do. But at the same time, I want to have well-being. I want to feel good, and it's foundation to feel good, right? Because if not, you cannot do the things that you value. So watch your body. As a human being, we have bodies, Okay. That's the name of the podcast. I am a human being. <laughs> I love it, right? Uh, we, have, we have bodies and we want to be able to move them and be able to have energy for us to do the things that we want to do. Um, so you want to make that change. You want to put it into your day and your brain will find excuses. Your brain will say, no, not today. No, that doesn't make sense. It will find the best excuses. I'll give you an example. When I started mindfulness, um, I was driving my car and I used to have this breakup, right? Well, probably like seven years ago. I love that girl. I love that girl. But I'm going to tell you this. I was also still attracting relationships from trauma patterns. I was attracted to people based on my trauma patterns. So I was really like all over heels in love, so to say. But it was all over heels and emotional addiction. Okay, because I was still acting from the patterns of my childhood, which I changed. 
Now, after the breakup, I didn't want to have my thoughts. I didn't want to be with my thoughts, okay? So I start everywhere I go, I went, I listened to music. Everywhere I went, okay? I had my headphones in. Go to a grocery store, anywhere I went, uh, in the car. Literally, I wake up, put my headphones in, okay? Um, so when I started the mindfulness, which is so important, I went to the car and I stopped listening to music and I focused back on driving, back on driving. Your brain's not going to like it at all. It's going to be like, what the fuck are you doing? This is not okay. Let me give you some boredom so you stop that nonsense and put the music on again. We need to distract our thoughts. We need to control the situation. And the brain will give you anxiety. It will give you thoughts. It it will give you thoughts of you're not doing this right. You're not good enough. It will give you thoughts of you deserve putting music on. So I turned the music on off and guess what brain's tricky because it just wants you to do the compulsions so what did it do what did it do it actually said hey but we want to grow we are spiritual we need to grow we need to listen to a podcast we need to listen to joe rogan or michael singer or whatever right and it, you, it, it makes so logical sense right but it, you have to understand and that's why cognitive diffusion is so important we have to understand that the brain will do anything for you to do the compulsions, <laughs> even in the positive sense. So it's so important for you guys, even if the brain logically says, oh, no, we don't go outside now. We don't work out. By the way, do push-ups every day. I would suggest you doing push-ups every day. I try to at least do 100 push-ups almost every day, by at least like four times a week, and sometimes even 200 push-ups. And I go to hot yoga. Uh, twice or three times a week. Now, I also go if I don't feel like it. And if the brain says, oh, this might not be, dun, 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 you could do this, you could do that. That's why you want to make action as your direction, as your GPS, not your thoughts and emotions, because your thoughts and emotions can be easily manipulated by your trauma patterns. And that's how you actually break your trauma patterns, <laughs> by doing the things you value and, and scheduling in to your day the actions and do them that, that help you grow. It's like your garden. You grow it with water, with actions, like Mark Freeman says. Mark, um, but you want to do it no matter what the thoughts and emotions say. And that's how you show the brain that you are the boss and you are the adult. And that's how you build trust actually too. Because you're showing your brain that you're doing the things you value with any emotions and thoughts. So um, go outside Go in nature and do those things because all those podcasts don't make sense if you listen to them. Even this one. I might have a sexy voice, okay. I might, I might be a very charismatic human being, okay. I might be really cool, okay. I might be the sunshine of your day, that's okay. But it's all not going to help if you don't do the things. If you use all those podcasts as a... Uh, self-up addiction it's not you're not going to change anything and that's why most people don't change anything because they even use self-help as a pattern as an addiction as something to try to make their feelings feel better instead of changing their patterns by making it about the actions okay that being said i hope that the audio level was good please let me know let me know if the audio level was good on instagram um yeah and i love you guys um i'll see you guys soon